What's up, Marvel Maniacs? Toy Insanity here doing a Marvel Monday. Got some new Funko Pops. Six new. Six new. As you know, I don't collect all the Marvel Funko Pops. I just ain't got room for that. I ain't got money for that. And also, I just don't like how the Marvel Funko Pops have to have that bobblehead. But, my dudes, I've really been getting into these... Walgreens exclusive versions. They've been hitting the Spider-Man super villains hard. So I went for 524 Sandman, 525 Craven the Hunter, and yep, 523 Scarlet Spider Kane Parker. These are all brand new at Walgreens right now. Then I found also at Walgreens, Silk. This one doesn't appear on the checklist, but it's showing it possibly came out with the wave before the last wave. I don't know. Got Silk. I'll tell you a little bit about each of these characters, but I also got, also got Insane Man Thing. Not only did I go to Walgreens, I went to the mall. You know why they call it the mall? Because you don't go to one store. You go to the mall. You go to them all. All right, I found Man Thing at FYE, and I got brand new Corrupted Venom, LA Comic Con exclusive, fifteen dollars at Hot Topic. All right, got a little bit of notes. We're gonna start with Sandman. First appearance, nineteen sixty-three. His real name throughout the comics is William Baker. Sandman, Sandman, Sandman. We all know Sandman. You probably know him as Flint Marco from Spider-Man 3. And we know about his unfortunate testing accident he got involved in, which fused him with sand. He can turn into sand. Insane. That's a pretty cool figure. I'm not a Sandman fan, but I do love the detail they did with that. Brown wash on the sand. Pretty cool. And of course, he did appear in the latest movie, Spider-Man Far From Home, as the Earth Elemental, one of Mysterio's illusions. All right, Sandman, very cool. Craven the Hunter debuted one year later, 1964. Sandman and Craven are some of Spider-Man's most notorious foes. We're talking super villains. But Craven, his real name is Sergi Cravenoff. So he's long been after Spider Man. He's friends with Squirrel Girl. He's part of the Sinister Six. And he's one of the brand new Funko Pops available at Walgreens. We can move to the next wall greens exclusive in the new wave. Scarlet Spider, Kane Parker. Kane Parker is a clone of speed of uh, Peter Parker. Very cool. He was cloned by Jackal. So he starts out as a bad guy. He eventually becomes a good guy, teams up with Peter Parker when Ben Riley, the new clone, the new Scarlet Spider, hits the scene. 1994, first appearance, Kane Parker. All right, Silk. Her real name is Cindy Moon. She hit the scene 2014. So in this run, you know, when uh, Peter Parker's class is visiting that facility where he gets bit by the radioactive spider, in this continuation, that spider continues along, crawls along, and also bites Peter's classmate, Cindy Moon. So she becomes Silk. And in some of the comics, she might be Spider-Girl, Spider-Woman. The Funko Pop gets a stand. 
Very cool. We got Silk. Corrupted Venom. Very recent. Ah, what's the word? Iteration of Venom. 2019 comic book run. Look at the detail on this. Found it at Hot Topic. Slight damage to the tongue. Maybe I could repair that. But it's the only one they had, and you know I had to have it. L.A. Comic Con exclusive. He gets a big old stand. Very nice. So the 2019 comic book run called Absolute Carnage. As far as I can tell, I might be wrong on this. This is Eddie Brock. You know... And he's he's got the the, the the Venom symbiote, but then he's also wrestling at the same time with the Carnage symbiote. So maybe this is a combination of Eddie Brock, Venom, and Carnage. I don't know. Or maybe it's someone else. I didn't read the comic. Maybe it's Cletus Cassidy. Maybe it's J. Jonah Jameson. Maybe it's Norman Osborn. I don't know. Who's, who's under all this dope? Funko vinyl plastic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get to Man Thing. I was very excited to find this one. I'm a big fan of Man Thing. Dr. Ted Salas. This is going to be a hefty little pop. Love this figure already. You know I love Man Thing because I love plant creatures. I love the color green. This just has Toy Insanity written all over it. That is a hefty fig. Still got the bobble feature because Hasbro forces Funko to do that to their collectible figs. But it's subtle. It's subtle. And this is a very hefty figure. Wow, this is a great figure. Look at all the detail here. So Man Thing goes way back to 1971. May 1971. First appearing in Savage Tales, issue number one. Now 1971 is important because in July of 1971, DC Comics debuts Swamp Thing. A mere two months later. Oh, I love the detail on this figure. Look at this. Look at this little flower. We got some fungi. We got vines, moss. These all the plants. I'm gonna have to compare them. I do have the DC Swamp Thing Funko Pop. I might even have three versions of that. It came out years ago. I gotta track them down in the hashtag Toy Vault. But they made a regular version, a glow in the dark version, and a scented version. Kind of got a little bit of swampy pine scent. It smells like a forest. It smells like a little pine tree air freshener you'd put in your car. I wonder if they'll make a glow-in-the-dark man thing and a pine-scented man thing. I don't know. But this is a cool figure. Dr. Ted Salas is his real name. In the deal with the man thing and the swamp thing... A lot of these writers and illustrators, they, they lived together. They were roommates. And they were just copying and borrowing off each other, whether intentionally or unintentionally. You never know. Is this parallel thinking between roommates? I don't know. But Swamp Thing and Man Thing debuted the same year. But Marvel got the Man Thing out two months earlier. They are pretty distinct in appearance, at least nowadays. I love both their appearances. To me, Swamp Thing looks like a man corrupted by plants. And Man Thing just looks like plants corrupted by a man in there somewhere. Man Thing always has a more monstrous look. This is one of my top pops from any and all franchises. Loving Man Thing. Such a solid figure. I don't even want to put it down. I just want to walk around and carry it all day. This is such a this is such a great pop. 
Oh, he's got some heft. Very cool. Love this guy. Thank you for checking out my video. Thanks for the thumbs up. Comment while you still can. And, uh, you know, I'll see you next Monday. If you're just into Marvel stuff, I'll see you in the next video if you're into all the Insanity offerings. Bye-bye.